Severed Steel is a first-person shooter with incredible acrobatics and slow motion. It kicks some serious ass. Come on, the game enables you to blast a hole in a wall, then jump through it, killing all the enemies you can see with bullet time. Straight out of an action film. I first played Severed Steel during my Steam Next Fest livestream. I knew nothing about it, and it was one of the games that surprised me. So I had to pick it up, and I wasn't disappointed. Severed Steel is incredibly uncomplicated. Jump, dive, wall run, and shoot your way through loads of bad guys. Unfortunately for the main character, they don't have any pockets for ammo. Once the gun you're holding runs out, then you best pick up a new one or you're going to be stuck getting physical. You can kick and punch, but it's far less effective. Every enemy drops their gun, and you can even pull one off of them if you're close enough. All the guns are good, and since you're constantly picking up new ones, you're always in a new situation. The ones that have a bigger spray end up wasting my slow motion since I keep missing shots. I learned to have some patience and get close before activating slow motion with those guns. Now, there are two things that make Severed Steel unique. The first one is crazy acrobatics. You move quickly. The developers gave the character a sense of speed while diving and wall running. I'm sure glad they added slow motion to give you time to enjoy everything. Flying over a shielded enemy's head is a great way to get around them, and it's a lot of fun. You gotta keep moving to stay alive, too. The movement system is my favorite part of the game. The second thing that makes Severed Steel unique is the destructible environments. Smashing face first through a glass window, firing a gun, is fun every time I do it. But it's not only the glass that breaks but all the walls in the game. There are some levels with very powerful enemies, and by the end, every wall looks like Swiss cheese. The destruction is epic. Most of the time, the enemies are causing it, but your arm cannon is perfectly capable too. It can be fun sometimes to destroy a wall to get to an enemy, but most of the time you don't need to. During the campaign, the game forces you to destroy some walls, which is fine, but not as much fun as if you needed to use it naturally. You know, a little more strategically. Ripping a hole in the ceiling to attack a room differently, which you can do, but maybe after learning a level. Moving on to the campaign, which is fine. You progress through interesting levels, either killing everyone or trying to get to an exit. There are even a few boss battles thrown in. There isn't much to the story, and the illustrated cutscenes aren't animated. Of course, the story isn't the point of Severed Steel, but there's so little connecting the levels. Also note it takes about two and a half hours to finish. I know that's not going to be enough for some people. For me, I was ready for the end. Severed Steel felt like it had reached the limits of the idea. So I was ready to move on, but I can completely understand if that's not long enough for everyone. Speaking of moving on, the other game mode is Firefight. It's a level select arcade mode with mutators. You can see from this menu all the levels. Then on this menu here are the starting options. Finally, here are all the different mutators that are available. The mutators affect how much score you can gain. For example, Big Head Mode halves your possible score since headshots are much easier. But turning on Warrior Monk completely disables shooting and multiplies your score by 1.5 times. Then there's silly stuff like paintball mode, which reminds me a lot of GoldenEye 64. Firefight mode starts with almost nothing unlocked, and you need to level up to get more options. The experience gain isn't bad, but I don't know why the developer locked up all the content. Anyway, the main point is to score points and get on the per-level online leaderboards. So crank up the difficulty and apply all the mutators you can. There's also a leaderboard for the shortest time but I'm not exactly sure how that works. 
I put in a better time on a lower difficulty and it didn't save. Finally, there is a level editor, but the developers consider it in beta. I'm not and have never been very good at making levels. I realized this at a young age trying to put together multiplayer Half-Life levels. I had grand dreams which, as you might expect of a beginner, didn't work out. Here's a player created level I downloaded on the Steam Workshop. Pretty good which indicates the tools aren't bad. No one can promise more levels, but I would expect at least a few more. More content is always good, and these player crafted levels do have a leaderboard as well. So I did experience some issues in Severed Steel, but nothing that ruined the game. Once I got stuck inside the floor and I had to restart, but unfortunately I didn't capture it. Another time a level was completed without me doing the objective, also, there was a piece of the environment that attached itself to the main character. It, it was a little distracting, but that's all. Mainly, I had some issues with the graphics. They're great, but sometimes the game is so dark, I couldn't see where I was going. The train level comes to mind first. It was annoying. The game shows you the objective, so I eventually found it, but I had killed all the enemies and was bumbling around in the dark. The RTX reflections felt a little too turned up. I wonder if I made a mistake playing with the DirectX 12 instead of DirectX 11. Here's a quote from the developer about the best settings with DX12. For what I think looks best, launch in DX12. Turn on everything in graphics between the dashed lines except ambient occlusion and reduced voxel damage. Overall, Severed Steel is a blast. The few bugs and small graphical issues don't ruin the fast-paced raw action. I really enjoyed the movement system and have continued playing it while writing this review. I can't wait to see a speedrun of Severed Steel. I think the firefight mode adds enough to the game, but the campaign was short. And this is the end of the video. I hate talking about the price because everyone's situation is different, but a lot of the discussion around Severed Steel is about the price. I don't think that's very fair to call them out for it and complain. It's their game and they can do whatever they want. It just wanted to share. Thanks for watching.